Well, the huge search area for the missing Malaysia Airlines jet has been extended yet again. A satellite company with its own transponders on board the flight has said it received routine automated signals after radar communications went offline. Imarasat says the details have been forwarded to Malaysia Airlines. Now, the Malaysian government is denying reports that the missing Boeing 777 was deliberately flown off course. Now, 57 ships and 48 aircraft are involved in the search, which already covers the South China Sea and the Malacca Strait and parts of the Andaman Sea. Now, the search areas are now being expanded further into the Indian Ocean and the South China Sea. But the potential range of the plane extends across China, India and Australia, much of it over water. Scott Heidler is in Kuala Lumpur with the latest. Reports coming out of the United States have been batted down by Malaysian officials here in a press conference. There were two areas that they focused on, two reports. The first saying that there's evidence, radar evidence, that the aircraft took a westerly turn, a deliberate westerly turn, and a second report saying that there are pings picked up. In other words, signals sent out from those engines on the aircraft down to receivers on the ground. They, the Malaysian officials say, that they don't have that evidence, and they've been speaking with the manufacturer of the aircraft and the engines, and that that is just not true. Now also because of this evidence, it, they said it would be irresponsible, Malaysian officials, it would be irresponsible if they didn't at least act on that. And what they have done is expanded the search for MH370 up into the Indian Ocean. And this is something that's going to be uh, quite difficult because it's a very, very big area. So they're bringing in more assets and new assets from the United States and the Indian Army is also going to be involved as well as the Navy. Now this is something as we move into the first week since this aircraft went missing, there are really no tangible clues or anything that's been found that could pinpoint where this aircraft went down.